what the fish, man? I'm back with another video. It's been a minute. Feel like I took a long hiatus. It's been about six, seven, eight months, something like that, before I made a video. And I'm back with a video. I'm gonna put out more content, but it ain't gonna be as frequently. It's gonna be there just to inform y'all on the new things that I'm doing and what I'm doing and how I'm doing and how I'm catching fish and stuff like that. Lately, I've been into these swim baits. I have a bunch of swim baits. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna try to keep this video short and sweet because. I need to run to Bass Pro to get some uh, some hook guards for some of these swim baits so I can put them up. But <clears throat> I invested into a new swim bait setup. It's a 13 fishing Defy Black with a 13 Inception reel on it. The Inception is not a swim bait reel. I just liked it because it was in my budget at the time, which I think I might have spun. 220 on the whole combo, which wasn't bad. For a swim bait combo, when they got these guys that's spending 250 on just a rod and another 200, 220 on a reel, which I think you can get by with some of these reels. You know, I'm I don't know. Maybe I'm just tripping, but I don't know. I think you can. But I'm gonna show y'all that my two swim bait setups that I'm using now. I'm gonna show y'all a couple swim baits I purchased. I think I'm gonna start off with the cheap one first. I purchased these two from a seller called KDS Custom Swim Baits on K. I'm sorry, KDS Custom Lures on eBay, which I like them. They got some pretty good motion. I think they're bullshad knockoff, which you can tell. Bullshad is kind of curved. It's it's straight where the joints at, and these curved. But they also got a little rally in them too. But this one here, I hooked up on my first real. Swim bait fish with this one. I threw it out in the middle. I let it sink to the bottom. I gave it a little twitch while I was falling. I twitched it. And just so happened, I got a phone call while I was fishing. I answered the phone, and I was slowly retrieving, and I got a little, a little thump. I'm like, man, it, that's not a bad. That's probably a damn catfish or something. And picked it up. And sure and, lo and behold, I'm cranking it in, winding it in. He started running that way with it. And he got probably like four feet away from the bank. I'm looking at him because the water is real clear. And he came up, shook his head, threw it back at me. But both of these have some excellent swimming motion. And I only paid $9 a piece for them, which I don't think was bad. I mean, it did serve his purpose. And I ordered this here from another seller on eBay. I used it once and put it up because I need to change the treble hook at the back. For one, it's too big. This is what it does every time I throw it out there. The treble hook get hung up in the tail. So I probably put a small owner's treble hook at the back. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to catch a fish with it. But if not, I don't really care. I want it on eBay for $9. It's called uh, Monroe, Monroe Lures or something like that. No, I'm not really happy with it. But this is... Uh, Fairly cheap bait, twenty dollars. I ordered it from Jinko Customs. Join this swim bait. Uh, it's real nice. Uh, also, it has a rod in there. You know, bait fish tend to make a little noise or whatever when they in the ball when they schooling. So, yeah, that one that was nineteen dollars. Not like it. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna throw this more often, probably in clear water. But. I got my bullshit custom painted by uh, a guy named Phil over at Get Big Customs. And he did an excellent job. I got it in American Shad colorway. And you can't really see right now because this light don't serve no justice, but you got a little foil on there that makes it pop. Especially when it's in the water, it looks real good. It looks just like a shad, like a huge shad. And this here is a solid, this here, I mean, I'm about to say solid, but this the two knocker. Not as loud as these, though. I kind of wish it was, but. But hey, it is what it is. Still look good, and hopefully this, uh, this paint job helps me out a little bit more. All right, I got different help from Japan from a sale on eBay. It's called a Bass Roy Jr. I like it. 
silent, it floats, and it dies when you crank it in with the bill, you know. I think it dies like a good five, five, six feet, because I, I hit the bottom in certain places, man. Yeah, I like it. Good for clear water. Maybe a little stained water because of the dark color, but I like it. And, of course, I had to pick up the bull weight. I mean, why not? Can't buy a bull shad without having this guy. I'm going to get this painted probably one day this week. Send it to a guy in Alabama. He does real good. I've seen some of his work. I like it. I'm, I'm still undecided on what color. I don't know if I want a pumpkin seed or I hate to get another shag colorway, but this actually might do the trick. Being that it only dives like it's subsurface. It don't dive deep at all. Even though it don't with the big bill, you know, you'll be fooled that it dives deep. It it doesn't dive deep at all. But yeah, bull weight. White bone color. And I also have uh, a bull gill that I had recently got painted to along with the bull shad in a crappie colorway. I call it the bleeding crappie because I never seen nobody with the little red splatter underneath the bottom that look like blood. I like it a lot. It's different. I don't even think nobody on YouTube has this pattern. I'm probably the first. But hey, but I can help you guys out. I don't care. And that's that's Phil who painted this at Get Bit Customs. You can follow follow him on Instagram. That's Get Bit Customs. I'm gonna leave a link for everything. Uh everything related to these getting these base paintings and where I bought them from. But yeah, dude. This one, yeah. I love this one. I hope I get bit on this real soon. Dude did a hell of a job. <clears throat> and while I'm at it, this the combo, the 13 fishing combo, the five black, eight heavy. It can hold the one to four pound, four ounce lures. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Four to eight ounce lures, uh, 20 to 40 pounds. Right now I have 17 pound tests on here. I'm uh, probably gonna switch it up to 20 just in just for uh, insurance purposes. So I won't lose this. But yeah, this is my new swim bait setup. I think this one this setup put me at 220, which ain't bad for a swim bait setup. When they got guys out here paying uh fucking 250 for a rod, another 300 for a reel. Put you at a little bit over five hundred dollars for a fishing reel and rod combo, which to each his own, you know. I'm just working on my budget, and this is my old, my smaller setup for my smaller swim base. It's a thirteen fishing Origin TX, and right now I got a four inch bull shad on here that I'm gonna get painted along with the bull weight, which is soon because I want to get it done before spring. So I'm probably gonna send them all this week to get them painted. But yeah, I like the bull shad, the four inch bull shad. It's real nice. The swimming motion is excellent. Soon, hopefully, I get y'all some some footage. I gotta get me a new action cam. I'm probably gonna be a GoPro Hero Five. And last but not least, this is what I'm gonna be throwing my glide base on. It's a carbon light 2.0 pad with an Origin 13 fishing Origin, and it's carbon light 2.0. It's a 7.9, one to four ounce, it holds one to four ounce lures, uh, 12 to 13 pound test, and it's heavy action fast. I mean, heavy fast action. But as you can see right now, I have, I have a Grand Craft, Grand Craft, uh, I forgot what size it is, but I just recently got this from the guy over in Japan that we have uh, sending us lures that we buy directly from him. And the shipping usually, I usually receive them in five days once I buy it from him. Be very quick. They say it's coming from Japan, you know. I'm pleased with it. But for me and glide, and, and glide baits, I don't have too much confidence in them because I don't really care about the swimming motion, which I'm trying to build confidence. That's why I went ahead and gave it a try. 
But yeah, mostly this is this is mostly what I'm gonna be throwing around ponds. But when we go to the marsh, it's gonna be you know your regular plastics, and I'll probably bring something like this here, this four inch, uh, something like this. You know, just to have. I just hate for a red fish to hit it because this. Uh, what size do I do? Medium action, which is probably hold a good little 20 inch red fish, 18. I mean, I think it will. But yeah, that's my arsenal so far for my swim bait. <sighs> so, YouTube, be looking for a new video next couple weeks. I don't know. Soon, just be looking. Thank y'all.